So there's that. And there's that. And there's that. So, as far as this, uh, this month of heists. Oh, look okay, what we have here. This month of heists, you know, where it's all heist specials and they want you to do all the heists and double money on this heist and do it. You know, I haven't done pretty much any of it because you need to have somebody who's also interested in doing that and nobody is. It, it's all been done. I've never, I've never completed anything past, you know, the Fleeka. You know, as far as the main heists are concerned, I've never completed the Doomsday. I did do the Casino Heist, but I haven't done it this month. And I've done the Kaoprico a few times. I haven't ground it like other people do. I'm not I'm not an expert. But the Kayo is the one thing I can do on my own. It's something I can solo. So with a few days left to get a hat. I mean, I don't know. I've done the Velma approach once and then you go on with weapons and you're immediately discovered and it was like, well what was the point of that? There was something on a GTA a GTA men uh, video where you say if you buy the weapons cache, then you can, you guess they put your weapons there. But I don't know if you have to not get the regular weapons and just get the weapons cache. I mean, I, have to, I haven't figured all this out yet. And the other complication here is, I'm not going to be able to show you every minute of this because right now my computer is crashing when I watch a video of a, uh, <laughs> of a GTA game. I mean, it's just really, really touchy when I'm recording. So we're only going to we're only going to get some highlights here, I think, is what the plan is going to be. So, yeah. I don't know. At some point, I'm going to have to take this thing apart. Maybe I put some put some fresh uh, fresh thermal grease on the, on the main ship or something like that. I don't know what I'm going to have to do to it. Probably end up just replacing a whole bunch of parts. But in the current economy, no, nah, I'm not doing that. So if this thing just stops working all together and you just don't see a lot of videos, I'll put something up it's from my phone or something or other. They look, the computer is completely dead. But for right now, we can at least do this. We can at least see if we can win another Baller ST. I have the Christmas Baller ST, but this SS would be the... This the German Baller ST? It's looking very... Those are kind of those colors. So that's, I guess that could be the thing there. I generally keep it the way it looks whenever I win one. I'm not really hot to win the Baller ST. But, you know, you gotta try. I, I, I am hot to win the Lost Slam Van, but I mean, the odds of coming up with a mystery and then coming up with the Lost Slam Van, not so good. Man, cash, I'll take cash. So, so I am going to go through and do the basic setup. I may, I may try and, and use the the metal detector that you can use out there. That that's a thing that we can do. It's a thing. So we'll see. We'll see what this. I don't even know what this video is going to hold. I don't know what I'm going to get. We're 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 going to see. Maybe it'll be a lot. Maybe it'll be a little. You'll be able to tell by how the length of the video. So I guess I guess there's that. And I'm going to try and put both characters into the same video. So it will be at least that big. Because we're going to try and get the hat on both uh, on both characters. You should get, what's his name's hat? And that's cool, right? Hats. Hats are a thing. We all live in a yellow submarine. A yellow submarine. A yellow submarine. He's putting my headphones on. Did he say anything funny? He's prone to. So we've got all the infiltration points, only the points of interest are two of six. That's okay. Secondary targets, yeah, we got lots of that. We 
But it, this is a boring part, so we'll just we'll 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 cut to the chase here. You're gonna find there's gonna be a lot of cutting to the chase. Just plain cutting. Like film wise. Just not you know, not really blade stuff. Alright, let's go. Again, just notice it is Once again, notice that it's a red plane. It's always a red plane with the red highlights here. We'll see? Red. And that point he just made is double for when we do the uh, the actual heist, so there's that. I still don't know why this couldn't have just been a cutscene. Why do they make you fly across the map in a relatively slow plane? What What's the... Are they assuming you're doing this in a public and people will be trying to shoot at you? Because why would you do that? Why? Okay, we're coming up on the cutscene. As we fly out over the ocean. And NLS-281 is our airplane. Which is now yellow. I know I've played this out before, but I just... Every single time. Is it still NLS? No, it's got a different tail Hi. number. Spinning AI. Why can't you assholes be on time for once, eh? Arms out, let's go. Okay. Wait over there. They will bring it soon. Go on. So now we're NLS 342. That's that's just great. Great continuity. Oh, son of a bitch, uh, son of a bitch, uh, son of a bitch, uh, a gun. <laughs> you thought I was going to say uh, son of a bitch, didn't you? <laughs> so let me explain to you the misery which I have been going through. With this so far, I have repeatedly tried, you wish to set goals, Captain. repeatedly tried to do what the hell do they even call it? The reconnaissance, the, the go find out what you're trying to steal part of the mission, the gathering intel. That's what it is. Gather. I've seen it on the screen enough. And every single time, once I get inside the perimeter, when I start closing on the tower, where I can finally see the stupid sapphire panther, the game crashes. Like, you know, I've, I've revalidated the game files just now. I don't expect this to go better. But I figure I'll show you my pain here before I completely cancel this out, because I'm not going to... Or just walk away from it, one of the two. Because I'm, I'm just not down with the pain. Fine. See, they've tricked me again. They showed me a fancy hat. And it, it's, having Strickland's hat, that seems kind of cool, doesn't it? You know, you, you got the Panther guy. You've stolen his personal hat, basically, is what we're saying here. You've robbed him enough that you've stolen his hat. And I think maybe I don't deserve this because I'm just not. There are people who grind this all the time. We gotta go over Chile out here. Now I picked the Polito Bay for this because it kind of it, it, it's kind of an optimal thing. If, if you have if you have the plane 
at Polito Bay. If the plane you have to pick up is at Polito Bay, which is an option, then you're close to it. If it's not Polito Bay, then at least you're only going in one direction across the map. You know what I'm saying? Like, if, if I start at the bottom of the map, I have to go all the way to Polito Bay and then all the way back down again. Well, then that's just painful. Now, there's some logic here. So I'm certain it's not the best. Like, the ideal thing is to, to pick a location that's near wherever you end up, but that doesn't always work out. So let us zip in here. And this is just painful, too. I mean, first of all, I have tried just pacing them all with missiles, and you end up with a smoking plane. Like, you don't want to shoot that guy. But that guy's okay. Shoot the car. Not the plane. That guy's far enough away. Those guys, no. We don't want to shoot the plane. It does get messy. And I think... We are just going to get, get medieval on them. Oh my goodness, I just shot it with a freak... Oh. Why does it do that? I selected this. That's not the weapon I selected. It just rotates around. Like, I picked the service rifle, and now I shoot my own plane. And then they make you fly and fly and fly with the door open because you just won't close. You know, if I let go of this, it doesn't close the door. And of course, we've already mentioned it's the wrong plane, but hey, I'm fine with that. At least this one's not smoking horribly like the last time when I fired a missile from the darn sparrow at it. So, four or five times here, I think it's four times, I have done this where you fly across the map and you get there and you get. You have to go through the cutscene, and then you, you you have to sneak your way across the map, and you get almost across the map, and then the darn computer freezes, and it's just like, well, that was a complete waste of time. Let me try it again. I'm sure it'll be different the next time, only it's not different the next time because it freezes up again. Now, I'm not saying that this is everybody's experience. It is my experience. I don't know what to do with my computer to make it stop doing this. I mean, I got this computer. I've told the story before. Back in 2015, it was right before I took my current job. At my uh, my last job, uh, things were going well, and then they, we got bought out by another company, and they gave everybody a 30% pay cut. Mine was like 32%, and I said, "Why? What did I do wrong? Oh no, nothing. You're doing a great job. We want you to keep it up, but you're going to be doing it for 32% less." And I did that for a few months while looking for another job, and eventually got another job. So. Yeah, but, like, the, the trick of the matter is, is that I had just bought this computer, and now I no longer had, the, you know, really the material to, to maintain this. I did. I mean, we got through. It's mine now, but I'm, I'm probably not putting any money into it in the near future, not for, like, the bad luck aspect. Oh, if I invest money in the computer, then it's going to be, you know, oh, look, there's my boat. It's going to be bad luck. I'm just saying that if I... Uh, Right now, if I'm I, my disposable funds are limited because of the way the economy is, and I'm not going to launch into politics anytime here soon. And say, well, this is why that is. Um, but yeah, it's it's a bit tight, so I'm just going to use what I got. I'll do whatever maintenance I can on that. That's you know for freebies or very little little monies. <coughs> I'll put up with this crash and play another game. I mean, this is you know, there's there's not you know a lot else. That this affects really. I mean, I've had problems playing videos of GTA, but it seems to be mostly GTA related. If it starts just crashing all the time, well, then I'll go find something else to do, like you know, get back to writing maybe or something. Or, you know. Yeah, you again. 
Arms out, let's go. Why don't you come up with another comeback, huh? Is this what you say to everybody? You're not real inventive here, Chief. Okay, right over there. How many times you've told me that today? Go on. Today? Even just today? I'm not gonna look at anything here. So you go this down here. Someone's coming. Oh dear. Let's go down by the beach. So we wind our way this way. Why don't you knock it off of them negative waves? And just that quickly it crashes again. Oh the music. You can really tell it's crashed again because then it resets my music. Ugh. It is times like this that I have to invoke the three tenets of Bowmanism. Bowmanism is something I've coined based on expressions used by my good friend Steve Bowman. And the first tenet of Bowmanism is this it is what it is. Which is exactly how he used to say it. It is what it is. Which means I can't imagine that somehow the next time I do this, the game is not going to crash. It's this is what it is. Shut up, Lester. Beautiful. Yes, that Bowmanism is beautiful. The second tenet of Bowmanism is life is good. And even though I can't do this mission, I didn't really want to do this mission. I was tempted by a hat. And this has taught me that I shouldn't be doing things that I don't want to do. I shouldn't be wasting my time and wasting my life doing things in video games just to get stuff. I do not need the money. I've got $136,392 and five... Let's say it properly. $136,392,503. That's enough. I do not need a couple extra million from going through this nightmare of a thing where my game just keeps crashing. And mostly it comes down to, ladies and gentlemen, the third tenet of Bowmanism, which is I am getting too old for this shit. And I am not doing anything with this. Is there any way to cancel it out? See, it could cancel out, but then there's a part of me that's thinking what if I just leave it Leave it as it is. Maybe I have locked into something already since it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be. Maybe I have already locked in the, the Panther. Now, there's no way to really canceling the mission, I don't think, unless we call up. Can we call Pavel and do that? I think it would be satisfying. Can't do it while he's standing there, probably. You got your phone turned off, don't you, Pavel? Let us retire from this. Dump to the bunker. And teleport. Find new session. So I feel like I've gotten something out of today because it's been a couple. I need something to make me feel like something here is, is, is rewarding me. There's no rewards there. Oh, we could do an actual sale. I should have stayed in the, the CEO. I don't need this money either, but it's there, it's easy, it should work, and if it crashes, well, hey, that's where I'm going to end this video. But, I mean, there's, uh, there's no reason for me to do stuff just because there's a bonus if I don't need the bonus. Am I really ever going to wear that hat? Am I? Am I? No. No. It's, it's not going to come. I wear the same outfits all the time. In case you were worried about selling these arms and them not getting used, we got a fire airlifting this shipment right into a hot zone. You'll need big off-roaders to get to the pickup sites, so get in the cab and get on the road. Not a bad one. 
It's far away, isn't it? Not too bad. Only halfway across the map. So, I'm walking away from it. Look, I've only got till tomorrow anyway. For some weird reason, this hat and shirt thing is only going on until Monday. I don't know if they're playing something huge or they want to get the stuff over with because everybody's taking the days off to Thanksgiving. That's probably it. And they've got, see, they're, they're hinting on the newswire it's some huge thing they're planning for the week of Thanksgiving. I'm thinking, you know what? I, I can't imagine anything pulling me into doing more heists because the KO I'm crashing on constantly. Uh, the last of the main heists I tried was the prison break one. You can go back and watch me have a complete, you know, emotional breakdown every time that just failed to work because that's glitched out. And, you know, you try and save the guy from the prison and he won't move. That was just, I, I gave up on that altogether. The last time, that's probably, that might have been like a year ago when they, last time they did a huge heist thing. Is that like November is heist month? You know, well, maybe we'll see next November if I haven't learned, but... This has just been too frustrating, and it's not... This is a game. Like, am I worried? What's the next thing I'm going to purchase? The Wide Body Sentinel Classic? Maybe. Maybe not. We'll have to see how well it runs. Is it just a little bit better than the other one? Then probably eh, not going to be, you know, that big a deal. I might get one, because I do have... A pair of Sentinel Classics, I think, on this character that somehow I got for free or something like that, so I got two of them. There was some story to it. I'm sure it's in the annals of my video library. But even I'm not looking it up. I'm certain, certainly, I can talk. Certainly not going to expect you to do it, but I mean, it's out there if you're really bored. Um, but I have one, so therefore I can, I can wide body one just for the experience. Uh, I didn't go for the R10 at all because, you know, I've never, never been a huge fan of any of those. Even, you know, watching the G-Fred stuff. Like, I, I would take one if there was a G-Fred. I was in a G-Fred and there's a 9F. But of that family of cars, it doesn't seem like things go well if you have one. They tend to crash real easy and uh, and get severe damage. So, I don't know. I don't know if, this is, if the R10 is going to be, or the 10F, rather. Thinking of the real car, mix them conf conflagrating there, the, the real car and the fake car, so, you know, there's that. Alright, send the helicopter, guys, because reasons. Where's the next? Oh, there we are. Ooh, that was an interesting little motorcycle run there. But, you know, I've said repeatedly, oh, I'm not going to frustrate myself anymore. And yet they suck me in. How is that? How is that even possible at this point? How is it that I don't see this coming? I don't see the crashes. I don't see the frustration. Because if I wasn't getting crashes, I'd still be there, like, getting caught by the guards and blah, blah, blah. You know, I'm not exactly GTA men here as far as my skill levels. I mean, it's just not... Not a thing. I have put 12,000 hours into this game, but mostly doing what I want. I mean, not always. But certainly I'm not grinding Kyo Perico enough to try and become an expert in it. It's just not happening. I can't even drive up this wall. What do you do? Come on, back up. Why would they make them Marines? Wouldn't that mean that they're ex-Marines working against their country because I'm working for the country? I mean, what's the story? Are they just using random lines that they've added in here. Cannonball! We make, did we make it? I don't know if we made it or not. We're getting shot at. Into the trees. Okay. And then up the hill. I'm surprised this hasn't crashed yet. Jinx, jinx, whammy, whammy. It's very, very strange. I, I can't really predict what causes this to happen. But if this could just hold out 
for one more jump. Money. And they actually took it away. Now that was relatively satisfying. Look at that. Now I have 136 and a half, basically, million dollars. More than enough to have fun. We can have fun. We can have all kinds of fun. Fun! That's, that's the kind of fun I've been having as of late. Oh, that bike's really far down there. I'll come and give you bike. Ah! I'm blue, I'm a deed, I'm a yeah, I'm not doing that either. So where does this leave me, gang? I mean, you know, let me get my headphones back on so I can hear when the game's talking and I don't talk over it. It makes no sense. Just check to make sure the mic was working. Ah. Oh. So we've got the computer acting all flaky. And sometimes if I give it a break for a little while, then it seems to come back. Sometimes it's like... Okay, this should be about as simple as it gets. The store knows you're on route. As soon as they confirm receipt of the parts, they'll release the funds. Standard disclaimers apply. In the event that you're intercepted, everyone you've ever known will deny all knowledge of your actions. I have a duty to warn you about the potential for bad actors to have tracked this shipment. Blah, 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 blah. You know the score. Okay, so we're turning right. So anyway, the computer is flaky. Sometimes if I just stop playing GTA for a little while, it gets better. Am I probably going to do that? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. So I've dropped some frames just right there. I'm a gamer. I'm a YouTuber. I'm going to try and play games and make YouTube videos. It's inevitable. But with the holidays right around the bend, uh, I don't know if that's going to give me more time or less time to mess around with this stuff. So what I'm saying is we're kind of empty, you know, kind of entering an off season here of sorts. If I was to quote a, a guy named Ruffy and how he does stuff, so we'll see what happens. I'm going to still do what I want to do. Let's see how uh, let's see how my pursuit deals with some of this. Uh, I, I wasn't supposed to crash. They were supposed to crash, but you know, taking risks. I feel like that had to slow somebody. Ah, there you go. They dropped back off the radar there a bit. So, I don't know, maybe there'll be a lot of videos. Maybe there won't be a lot of videos. I, it's not like I'm giving up on the whole GTA thing. But you should know where I'm at. We're, I'm having some difficulties here pulling things together. You know, ideally, I'd like to do some more racing, but if you've watched my last few... Oh, sorry about that, dude. You're just in the wrong place at the wrong time. The uh, If you watched my few, last few racing videos, it's getting harder and harder to find people racing, which, even with double money on, it's been tricky. I mean, it's... I don't know. I don't know where everything's at. I played on 5M. I you know, go over on Project Homecoming, but like my computer's crashing all the time, and it feels kind of rude. Plus, every time I go over there, it's, you know, standing room only. So, I mean, I don't know. It could be just the times I'm, I'm going. So, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the plan is, gang. We're just gonna see what happens. We're gonna we're gonna hopefully get this to where it needs to be. But yeah, I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be following whatever the latest and greatest thing is from Rockstar unless it's really 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 fun and I want to put put you know some effort into it. I don't see it being anything with a heist. I'd be surprised. I'm just not. Not the heister. 
I'm not a good robber. I, you know, the business stuff, yeah. You know, these guys are getting annoying. I thought I killed them both. Could I swore I killed them both. And suddenly he was still alive. Oh, they do, do they beam more of them in, you know? Just keep driving. It's not even worth shooting them. He's following me up the train tracks. That's interesting. You know we're going to have some fun with this. Doesn't this go underground up here? Come on. You coming? There's a train coming. Which way? Oh, Jesus Die! I'm changing clips. What a pansy! So they're there. Either they're gonna shoot down on me. I'm just screwing with AI. How long can I just screw with the AI? But we'll dismount them. Get a job. Wow! Look at this flying around. Loser. It's not supposed to move that fast. This is going to crash the game, isn't it? I almost want to see what's happening. Pull some gears. Fly up. Go over this way. <laughs> Completely go the wrong way. Look at that turbo boost. What kind of amazing jeeps is this guy using? He's suddenly turbo boosting left and right. Alright. We're almost there. All that effort of theirs failed. And hey, we didn't crash. Sometimes there is success. I've been shot so many times. I should be dead here, really, shouldn't I? That's what it takes to take me down to 50% health. That's... Yeah, so I don't know, gang. Where are those guys? Did they just leave now? Sometimes you still see them hanging around. They're wrecked jeeps that go entirely too fast. Well, I guess this is as good a place to end it as any here as far as the, this video is concerned. So, like, I don't know, guys. Don't worry about it. If you don't see too many videos in the short term, I mean, we've got Thanksgiving coming up. I've got Thanksgiving things to do. How you doing? I'm doing great, Lester. And I'm glad you asked. I'm glad I hung up on you. So, <laughs> but, uh, you know, here we are. 
it, it might be a little bit tricky for me to make some videos the way I'd like to make them for a little while here until we figure out what's going on. And I don't know. Maybe I'll find a new muse. Maybe I'll be doing a different game. Maybe I'll be doing more of this game. Maybe I'll finally find some racing. Um, you've got a few more weeks. So probably about, I think it's December 17th is the last of the the, the Strong Bad uh, video game for exceptionally cool people, however it's worded. And then we'll see how it goes. I mean, I'm just, you know, like I said, I'm inevitably going to try and make some more videos, but I don't know how inevitable it is, you know? Are we talking Thanos inevitable, where it's really not inevitable, but <laughs> it's going to be, you know, is it, I don't think I'm at the point of seeing next year yet. You know, but, um, we'll see what happens. I usually try to do something for Christmas, so we'll, we'll, we'll try and put something together for that. But on that note, ladies and gentlemen, I, I'm just asking you to be patient with me. It's basically what it comes down to, because I, you can see where I'm at. You can see what I'm dealing with here. And, you know, I appreciate your support and continuing to follow the channel. So on that note, ladies and gentlemen, happy holidays. This is your Black Knight. Have a great night.